Electric eels are probably animals that you've heard of before. Um, they're actually not a type of eel. They're a kind of fish called the knife fish. And uh, they're famous for their electric producing properties. You've probably seen them on TV or cartoons in some time in your life. Now some fun facts about the electric eel. The electric eel can produce up to 600 volts to hunt prey or protect itself. Um, they're found in South America in the Amazon or uh, any sort of muddy water or river. They can typically grow up to two meters in length and the, uh, the organs responsible for the electric producing properties are called the hunters and sacks organ and make up four-fifths of the body. Um, these organs contain electric plaque cells which are responsible for the electric producing abilities. As you can see in the picture at the bottom, um, four-fifths of this animal is fairly large and it's solely dedicated to producing electric, uh, this electric property, which is crazy. Something cool I want to show you guys is that in Japan, they actually have Christmas trees that run on the electricity produced by these electric eels. When they contact the walls of the tank, um, electricity is conducted through and lights up this Christmas tree that you see on the left. All right, let's look at the mechanism of current generation in these animals. Um, what you have are electric plaque, uh, bio which are biological cells that function similarly to batteries. Um, what you have happen is you have a voltage being produced inside and outside the membrane of these cells, and um, charge cannot flow through freely because there are ion channels that are closed to begin with. Um, so this voltage is produced by stacking these cells together as if you were to have batteries in series, which in turn creates a total voltage. Um, a nerve impulse is eventually sent to these electroplaques, which open up the ion channels and then allows for sodium ions to flow through. And as you remember from class, uh, current is defined as a movement of positive charge. So if sodium ions are flowing through from left to right, the current is being produced from left to right. A fun fact I forgot to mention in the previous slide was that in the 1770s, the electric organs of the torpedo and electric eel were subject to Royal Society papers by Hunter, Walsh, and Williamson. They appear to have influenced the thinking of Luigi Galvani and Alessandro Volta, the founders of electrophysiology and electrochemistry. That's pretty neat. To understand how electric eels produce electricity, I'd like to do an example problem using what we've learned this semester. All right, so the example problem I want to work on is uh, how to calculate the total current generated from the tail of the eel to the head of the teal of the eel. Um, and the way we're going to do this is by modeling the uh, electroplaque system that we saw in the slideshow as a circuit. So um, how we're going to do this is we're going to have electroplaques which are stacked right on top of each other, and that can be modeled as electroplaques in series. And we're also going to have these lines of electroplaques um, which are stacked on other lines of electroplaques, which can be modeled as electroplaques in parallel. So we have a circuit over here, and we can see uh, we have the voltage produced by each electroplaque, which is roughly 0.15 volts. We have the resistance of each electroplaque, which is uh, roughly 0 0.25 ohms. Um, we wrote the variables m for the number of electroplaques in series, and we have the variable n for the number of lines of electroplaques in parallel to each other. And the whole, the whole system has to be in parallel with the water, and we're going to calculate the current that goes through this. So the first step that we're going to want to do is to find the relationship of current resistance and voltage. And we know that relationship from class. Uh, it's Ohm's law. So we have I total equals V total over R total. So if we break this down, the first thing we're going to want to do is calculate the total resistance. All right. So the resistance in one line of electroplaques is just going to add together. And since we have n number of electroplaques in one line, we have the resistance of one line of electroplaques equals m times r e, the resistance of one electroplaque. Um, to figure out how the resistance adds in parallel of each line, we remember the relationship starts off as 1 over r parallel equals 
1 over the resistance of each line in parallel. So it's 1 over r line plus the uh, 1 over r line of the second one, and so on and so forth. And since we know there's n number of lines in parallel, we can just rewrite this as 1 over r parallel total equals n over r line. And we know r line equals m times r e. So we have, so now we can solve for the total resistance. Um, we just solve for r over here. r equals r total equals m r e over n. And we have to remember to add the resistance to water, which is in series with this entire circuit. So you just add this up end like this, 1 over R, W. And now we have the total resistance of the circuit. So the next step after you found the resistance of the circuit is to find the total voltage. Now we know that the voltage of each electric plaque is 0.15 volts. We have n number of electric plaques in series and the voltage, the potential, and since they're all those capacitors, the potentials of capacitors in series just adds. So uh, we'll have the total equals m times v e, and uh, the volt. We don't have to worry about the voltage across every single line because voltage in parallel is equal to each other. It's the same. So you have v total equals m times v e as the total voltage. Now that we have total voltage and total resistance, we can find our expression for total current. So all we have to do is plug in um, these values, and I'll write it above over here. We have I total equals M times VE over the resistance, which is MRE over N plus RW. So now we have an expression for the total current. Now that, we, now that we have an expression for the total current, we're probably going to want to plug in values for M and N. And we can get these values from cutting open your eels and figuring out how large the dimensions of the organs of these electric plaques are. Um, so, we are told that there are roughly 700,000 electric plaques in total in an eel. We have this capital N represent the total number of uh, electric packs. So this capital N equals little n times little n. And we can get that from this circuit because we have m number of electric packs in series and n number of lines of electric packs in parallel to each other. So big N equals 700,000 electric packs. All right, so we're probably going to want to rewrite this expression of I total to minimize the number of in terms of one variable, because right now we have m and little n. So we're going to write the definition of little n equals big N over little n. And we're going to plug that in to that, and we're going to get that I total now equals capital N VE over M. R E plus N R W over M. So now we have another expression for the total current. We have the total number of electric plaques, and we want to find the maximum current that can be generated through the water. So we're going to do this by taking the derivative of the denominator, because when this is a minimum, then the total expression will be maximum, the total current. So taking the current uh, d dm of this will yield, uh, let's see, it will yield r e minus n r w over m squared. And you can 
can see that uh, DDM of MRE is just RE, and then uh, you can pull out all these two as constants, and you have 1 over M, and the derivative of uh, 1 over M is going to be um, minus 1 over M2. So now we set this expression equal to 0, and we're going to solve for M, and that's going to end up being RW, RE. M is an equal to square root of RW over RE times capital M. So now the only thing left that we know we know the resistance of the wire, we know the resistance of each electric pack, and we are given the total number of electric packs in this in the eel. And so plugging in the numbers, 800, uh, 0 .0, 0 0.25, and 700,000, you're going to get M equals 47,000. Now, remember we defined M as the number of electric packs in series, so that means we're going to have 47,000 electric packs in series. And now that we have an M, we can also solve for N, which is the number of lines of electric packs in parallel. And we're going to have N, we know that we defined N as the total number N over little m. And that's going to be 700,000 divided by 47,000, and that's going to be equal to 15. So, in order to obtain the maximum current, we're going to have 15 lines of electric packs in parallel, and each line will contain 47,000 electric packs in series. And plugging in all the numbers we have into the I total will yield a maximum current of 4.4 amps, which is pretty significant. And yeah, we just solved for how these, how, uh, we just solved for the total current through water that an eel can cause. That's pretty cool. Thank you for watching my video. Feel free to subscribe or comment. See you guys next time.